From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, dear listeners. This is Peter Tischer speaking, and I would like to welcome you not only to a new episode of Ropecast, but also to a whole new year of Ropecast. Hello, Roger. Hello, Peter. We've already said Happy New Year to one another. Yes, but we can say it to our listeners. Happy New Year. And from me. And I hope they will stick with us. We have a lot in store for you. We do. Uh, Peter, I was thinking after reading one of the books that we recommended before Christmas, I was thinking what we're doing with our rope cast. We obviously were aiming at advanced learners of English. We're trying to help them with that learning process. And we're still doing that. Um, but from time to time, I bump into former students of mine who are now teachers of English, and many of them are regular listeners to our podcast and actually use them in school. Glad to hear that. Listening practice for their learners. Okay. And I got to thinking, we really ought to, from time to time, think about these teachers of English. They're also advanced learners, at least we hope they are, because mm-hmm. lifelong learning is part of being a teacher of a language. Mm-hmm. Maybe from time to time, we could actually include a few tips for language teachers, especially teachers of English. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think? I, I think it's a good idea. Should we put a warning label, though, <laughs> on the podcast, then, that this is not for regular students? No. no of course not. No, I mean, this is, you know, this is a two-way process anyway. Right. Uh, I think as a good teacher, you're also learning from your students. I mean, I, I certainly am still learning okay. something new every month. Maybe okay. not every day anymore, but every month something comes up and, hmm, never noticed that before. Yeah, yeah, true enough, true enough. So let's make that our New Year's resolution. Yeah. From time to time, we will have a podcast with a few tips also for teachers of English. Which, of course, is also interesting for other learners. Right. By the way, yeah, I would have a tip right now. Okay. <clears throat> for those teachers who would like their students to improve on their presentation skills. Yeah. I would suggest to them, have a look at President Obama's speeches. Yeah. He is unfortunately leaving office currently, uh, but he's a perfect example uh, for English rhetoric. I think he is such a gifted person. And of course, it's also good for listening comprehension. And the good thing is all the speeches are freely available. No copyright issues. Yes. And uh, he's a natural, isn't he? He's a natural, a natural and, communicator, and he has proven it just last night with his farewell address to the American people how good an orator he is. And that is already online, so folks, listen to that. Um, it's freely available, and I think uh, Barack Obama's uh, main slogan always has been, Yes, we can, mm-hmm. and he may not have achieved everything, but as an orator. He definitely could. I think we can add that to our previous tip of the TED Talks. Right. A really good source of listening material. Right. Yeah. So why don't we just say goodbye to President Obama now with this podcast. And goodbye from me as well. Goodbye, everybody. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.